Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard and today I'm going to show you how to customize the new client registration form. So the new client registration form is basically a feature that lets you accept pet and owner information from potential clients uh, through an interactive form uh, that you can link to from your website. This makes it really easy for you to uh, get new pet and client information uh, without actually having to type it in yourself. You can have the owner type it in themselves. They click a button, it gets sent right to your Doggy Dashboard account. You accept it, and uh, and then that's how it works. And so basically the form, if you click your link right here, it'll take you to uh, what your new client form will look like. Close that little guy, whatever. We'll leave it open. There's a big yellow box here at the top. That yellow box is only visible to you because you're logged in. Your clients will never see that. So your new client form basically looks like this. There is a way for first name, last name, phone number, email from your owner, as well as a bunch of other information here. Then you have pet information. They can upload a picture. They can upload a proof of vaccination. They can do a bunch of stuff. They can also add a second pet. I'm going to show you right now, though, how we can customize this a little bit. So we're going to go back to the, the uh, customization page here. First, you can turn it off if you'd like to by clicking the deactivate form and updating your settings you'll see that uh, down here at the very bottom, it shows you what your form looks like. And it now says the form has been deactivated. So that means when your clients visit this page right here, they refresh it, they'll get a message that says new client registration form is not activated on the, an error page. And so we're gonna activate it though right there. Here we can uh, update this message at the top. That is the message that we see right here at the top of the form. Please complete the form below to your fullest extent. You can write something specific there if you want to for your um, your clients. Maybe you want them to do something special or maybe you don't want them to fill out the vaccines. Just type it in here and it'll show up uh, above the new client form. Here we're going to upload a waiver. If you have a waiver uploaded, uh, you will uh, give your clients a way to download the waiver, print it, and bring it in when they come in for their first appointment. Doggy Dashboard does not do any type of document signing. Uh, you'll have to work with uh, a legal team on that. We don't provide any legal documents. So um, if you do have a waiver that you want to use on Doggy Dashboard, that's great. We can store it for you, but we can't do any of the legal work behind getting it signed for you. Um, so now you'll see if we go to the bottom and update our settings, accept that message. If you upload a waiver, this little blue box will show up that says, please print and sign the following waiver and bring it with your first appointment. And if you click that, it'll bring you to the waiver that we just uploaded the boarding uh, and grooming contract. So we'll close that. And so now you can see the messages here for the owner and here is the waiver. And uh, otherwise it looks pretty, pretty normal. Now, uh, Doggy Dashboard gives you the ability to add some personal questions to the new client registration form. You can add three questions for the owners and five questions for each pet. So I'm just gonna quickly do one question. Let's say we want to ask, how many days per week can you come in for training? Let's say you're a training business. That's gonna be the question that we want to show up on the form. And then when somebody uh, answers this question on the form, we have to save it somewhere in the pet's profile, which is right over here, or this is actually the owner. So how many weeks per, how many days per week can you come in for training here? And then on the owner field, we're going to call this uh, training availab availability. Uh, and then down here for pet questions, we're going to say, how does this pet perform on a leash? That's going to be saved in leash behavior. And how does this pet um, do while getting groomed? We could say grooming behavior whatever you can really make these questions whatever you want to and you can make these uh, field names whatever you want to we're going to update those settings and now if we scroll down you'll notice that on the owner information part of the form there's a question that says how many days per week can you come in for training and the client can write their answer in there in the pet information field here uh, there are two new questions how does this per pet perform on leash and how does this pet do while getting groomed so now I'm going to actually fill out this form in real time and show you how it works uh, to add new clients for Doggy Dashboard. So let's pretend we'll log out of here of Doggy Dashboard. And so now this is the new client form as your users will see it. They'll most likely have to go through a Google spam check to make sure they're not a robot 
or a spammer, but once they get through it, here is the new client form. There you can see the question about training, and here we have the leash question and the grooming question. So I'm just going to quickly fill this out with uh, some fake information here. Uh, John Miller, John at Miller.com. We'll put John123. The address can be 555 Spring Street in uh, Denver, Colorado. And then the vet clinic is going to be Pause Pet Clinic. And the number is 555-444. There we go. There's the emergency contact. Uh, Google was the refer, and the emergency contact is my brother Bill, 555. Uh, Once again, these are just fake numbers. Here we go. How many days per week can you come in for training? I can bring in my dog that maximum of three days per week. There we go, my dog. And now the dog's information is going to be named, uh, let's name it Lacey. And Lacey is a collie. Uh, she is a spayed female. She's brindle colored, which is brown and white. Birthday doesn't matter. Uh, and then here we have a bunch of information, microchip, weight, insurance, feeding and medication notes. But down here it says, how does this perf perform on leash? And you can put, she is very strong on leash and likes to pull. And how does this do while getting groomed? She doesn't like getting groomed, but she will stand it if you give her a treat, whatever. We're gonna answer the spam question here, which is just what does two plus two equal? You'd be surprised, but computer robots cannot figure out that question. So that's why uh, it keeps spammers from submitting these forms. We're gonna go down here and submit this form. And there you go, this is what uh, your client would see. It says, thanks, John. Uh, Muddy Paws will contact you if they require more information. Now, I just got this email right here in my inbox that says, hi, Muddy Paws Daycare, which is me. Uh, John Miller just uh, sent in some information. And here you can see John Miller, all the information we would submit. And how many days per week can you come in for training? I can bring my day in a maximum of three days per week. And here's Lacey's information, and there are those two questions about um, leash and grooming. And now we click this link to take us to Doggy Dashboard. We have to quickly sign in. And once we sign in, and, oh, wrong password. Let's get the password right this time. There we go. You can see, I'll erase some of these old alerts. It says, John Miller, submit your new client registration form with one pet, Lacey. And you can see that notification is right here on the main homepage. There's a little red button. When someone submits your new form, this button will turn red and it'll let you know that uh, you have a notification. So we're going to click on this take action link. And here is the information, John Miller, phone number, email, all the information he submit has been put into this form. Here's a question about training. I can bring my dogs in three days per week. Here's Lacey's information there at the top. Here's some vaccines, which I'll show you just in a few seconds. And here at the very bottom, you have, uh, how does she perform on a leash? Very strong. Does she like being groomed? No, but she likes it with a treat. We're gonna add them to our database. And now you can see John Miller has been added to the database. There's the training availability that he sent in. We click on the pet Lacey. And Lacey's right here, leash behavior, which was the name of that question. Uh, she's very strong on leash. Grooming behavior, she doesn't like to get groomed, but she will stand it if you give her a treat. One last thing, if you go to your business settings uh, and you, right now I have all my vaccines removed, but let's say I wanna have just uh, three vaccines. We we'll have rabies, DPP, and Bordetella. If we have those three vaccines and we update the settings, if we go back to our new client form, i just jump around here for a few seconds, and new client registration form. If you go to the new client registration form, you'll see that three vaccines were included in the, uh, in the pet information. So you can include vaccines. If you want them to submit four vaccines, you simply just go to your vaccine uh, name area here, add a fourth vaccine, we'll call it Fleeds vaccine. Update that setting. 
your settings have been updated, go back to the new client form, refresh the page, and now you can see the pet now asks for four different vaccines. So you can uh, get your owners to input their vaccine uh, expirations for their pets directly right here. That'll get sent right into their profile once they submit their information. But once again, they can also upload a proof of vaccines PDF here, uh, which is kind of the same thing. And so, and also if you don't want to have those vaccines, uh, you just once again erase the names here and then they won't show up on that form. Uh, but most usually just keep three or four vaccines here. But if you have a fifth vaccine, you can also do that. Um, and last but not least, since you've made it this far in the video, I'm going to show you a small little trick. If you do not want to use the questions on your form, you can erase those questions, but you can still keep these owner field and pet field names, and that'll give you uh, eight new fields that you can save information. So for owners, we have training, and now we have, um, let's put car information. And for pet fields, we're going to have one called um, running speed. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to update these settings. You'll notice that the pet information form doesn't have any questions on it right now. But if we go to create a new pet right here, you're going to notice that these fields are showing. There's leash behavior, grooming behavior, and running speed. And if we go to a new client, and we scroll down, there's car information right there. So if you want to just use uh, some extra fields to save extra information, but you don't want to have the owner questions, simply fill in, go back here, I'll show you one more time. Simply go to your business settings menu. Click on the new client registration form, go here. If you don't want to have the questions on the new client registration form, but you do want to have those extra fields, just simply fill in the field name right here, but keep the questions blank. And that will give you the ability to save extra information for each of your owners and your pets. Uh, and it'll give you basically uh, five new fields per pet and three new fields per owner. So that is how you customize the Doggy Dashboard new client registration form. Thanks for using Doggy Dashboard. And if you have any questions, email me, info at doggydashboard.com. Thanks a lot.